Can we say praise the Lord, saints? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Come on, sweet unity. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah. On this day that the Lord has made, aren't we glad? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, sweet unity. It's good to see everyone on our district meeting on the 23rd day of May. Glory be to God. I'll tell you, you back in California, and I'm over here in hot Texas, but God be to God. <laughs> hey, the wait, hey, Deke, the rain didn't stop, Deke. We flew in, and it's still raining. <laughs> Praise be to God. But all's well, because God is still blessed in Texas. Amen. It's good to see all of my sweet Unity family. We thank God for all of you that's on the uh, conference line, all our visitors and guests on Facebook. Glory be to God. We hope you're going to enjoy our service with us on today. Glory be to God. So sit back and let sweet Unity minister to you. Glory be to God. And as we minister, we know you will be blessed. And we're going to open up in prayer with none other than our own Deacon Ray Kelly. And after Deacon Ray Kelly, we're going to have a scripture reading by our own Mother Minnie Gates. So we're going to say amen for them as they come in that order. Come on, Deacon. God bless you. Praise the Lord, saints. We're going through the throne of grace. Eternal God, our Father, today we honor you for your goodness and your mercy. We thank you how you have blessed us all week, all month, and spread our lives and blessed us and spread our lives. Thank you how you blessed me to see my 85th birthday. And I just praise and magnify your holy name. And Lord, I ask you to take the lead of our service today. We ask you to bless our superintendent today. Bless all the pastors. Bless my pastor, all the first lady. Oh, God, I our district missionary. Bless all the saints today, Lord. Bless the, the elders, Elder Nelson is going to bring the word to us today, Lord. God, we ask you to just have your way. Move by your mighty power. Fill the room with your presence and let your glory be revealed today. In the name of Jesus, speak to our hearts today, Lord. Speak to us through your word. Speak and we'll hear you. Speak and we'll obey you, Lord. We ask you to shine your, let your mercy flow on us today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. God, you've been good to us. You've been mighty good. You've been better to us than we have been to ourselves. Oh, God, and we just thank you for all that you have done, Lord. You have blessed us in this pandemic, Lord God. You bless us and you bless us to get back into our church home. We back in there on two Sundays in the, out of a month so far, Lord. We ask that you just have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord, and let the all the saints, let the word come today that the saints will be edified and that you would be glorified and Satan himself will be horrified by the presence of your spirit. We'll give you glory on and praise. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all of his benefits, who forgiveth all things, iniquity, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with love and kindness and tender mercy, who satisfied thy mouth with good things, so that the youth is renewed like the eagles. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and hearing of his word. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Deacon Kelly and Mother Gates, two of the powerhouses in Sweet Unity. Been with this church a long time and know how to minister to the people of God. We do thank the Lord for all of you. We're going to have our welcome coming from none other than my first lady, First Lady Hazel Waters down in East Palo Alto, California. God bless your mother. Unmute yourself. Praise be to God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise. Truly, I thank the Lord for this afternoon, giving honor to God. And on behalf of our Superintendent Simpkins, Assistant Superintendent Swindell, District Missionary Bark, and Lady Simpkins, we, the Sweet Unity District, extend to you, Al McGee, and our guests, 
a warm welcome in the name of Jesus. We are so grateful that the Lord blessed us to be here this afternoon. God has really shined on Sweet Unity District, such a beautiful district, a district that's full of love and a district that will help one another in the time of need. Truly, we are grateful for all our leaders and all the members of our churches that the Lord has shined on us this afternoon. It is such a blessing that we continue to pray in the name of Jesus, and God will always see us through. Amen. Thank you, First Lady Hazel Waters. Come on and give her a hand praise. Thank you, thank you, Mother. We do bless and honor the Lord for you on today. God bless you. As we move our service right along, saints, we are not going to be wasting no time. We're going to get right on down the road, saints. Praise be to God. We have a wonderful soloist coming from none other than our own Sister Ashley Tennyson. Hallelujah. Say amen as she comes at this time.
Jesus is real. Yes, he's real down in my soul. Glory to God. I can feel him in my hands. I can feel him in my feet. Oh, yes. Thank you, Sister Ashley Jameson. That was a nice, beautiful song. Praise be to God, my sister. We do thank the Lord for that. Praise be to his name. Jesus is real. I know he's real. Glory to God. He saved you and me. Hallelujah. And flying into Texas, I know he's real with them thunder and lightning going on over here. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, my sister. Well, saints, I'll tell you, I'll be remiss if I don't give honor first to my Lord and Savior, Jesus. I thank God for saving me and sanctifying me with a mind to run on in these days. Amen. And I know we're in some trying times, but God is still good because we know he's on the throne. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. I do want to honor our host pastors on today, our assistant superintendent, Leon Swindell, and my own pastor, Pastor Jerry Waters. I want to honor these men of God. I praise to be to God for their service to the Sweet Unity District. Praise be to God. And I do want to give honor to our superintendent, the Superintendent J.K. Simpkins of the Solid Rock Church of God in Christ, and our district missionary, district missionary Lonnie Barker. God bless them and the first ladies. I do honor the pastors of our district as well, all the elders, the missionaries, the deacon brothers, all the saints of the Lord, hallelujah, that's with us on our uh, district meeting on today. Praise be to God. And I'm going to allow our first lady of the district, First Lady Sheila Ann Simpkins, she's going to come and have words. And after First Lady Simpkins have words, then we're going to have our district missionary, Lonnie Barker. She's going to come and have words. Saints, y'all got to bear with us. We got to give honor and respect our leaders. Amen. After missionary Lonnie Barker, we're going to have my own pastor, Pastor Jerry Waters, is come and have words and greet the saints. And then after him, we're going to be in the hands of our assistant, our superintendent, J.K. Simpkins. He have words, and then we'll come right back, saints. But let's honor our leaders at this time. First Lady Sheila Ann Simpkins, God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless everyone that's on the line today. It's so good to see everybody. God bless you all. First of all, I want to give honor to my pastor, amen, and also to his assistant, Pastor Swindale, and to all the pastors that are on the line, Pastor Waters. Uh, I can't see a whole lot of people. Pastor Swindale, Pastor Thomas, and if I miss anybody, oh, I cannot forget my brother in the Lord, Pastor Kelly. God bless <laughs> him. I dare not forget him. But to everyone that's on the line today, to all of the first ladies, to, to, to Mother Barker, I just want to say I am so excited about being here today. I'm so excited about what God is doing. And I'm so excited that we're all still here. We have gone through a whole year or more of this pandemic and we are still here. Hallelujah. We have a reason to praise God. Amen. We have a reason to praise him. And I thank him for that. And I'm sending my love and my best wishes to everyone. And just know that I appreciate each and every one of you for all of your love and support through this year, hanging in there with us through this Zoom thing. I like this Zoom thing. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Anybody feel the same way? Yeah. Oh, glory. I got to fight glory. the traffic. I had to fight traffic just getting home today. And I live close to the church. Amen. So I thank God for the technology that he has given to us. And again, just know that we're praying for each and every one of you. And I love you. I love you. I love you. And God bless everyone. And thank you so much for this time. Amen. Our own District Missionary Barker at this time. God bless you. Good afternoon, everyone. It is indeed a pleasure to mm -hmm. greet each of you. It's so good to see everyone who's online that I can see. I can't scroll through as I'm speaking, but I kind of peeked a little bit ago. And I'm so happy and so elated to see you. Yes, it's been 14 months plus since we have not been able to be in one another's presence. But I'm here to tell you, we have the victory. God is on the throne and he's still, still doing what he does. Hallelujah. I'm grateful for all that he's done for me and my loved ones. He's kept us. He's he said in Psalms 91, 
He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High Ah, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Mm -hmm. And certainly, uh, don't start that. Hallelujah. Wouldn't take anything (laughs) for me to bring a little short uh, uh, vignette. (laughs) Hallelujah. God is so good, saints. (laughs) And I have the victory. Well, yes, this is a victory that overcometh the world, saints, even our faith. I often pray and say we have that mustard seed faith, and we're praying for each one of you, every congregation, every pastor, every mother, our pioneers, Mother Swindell, Mother Willis, Mother Weathington, oh, I could go on, Mother Everhart. They're just hanging in there, and God has kept us all through this pandemic. Oh, but he's bringing us out, saints. He's done what we've asked him to do, and I thank God for the victory. He's wrought miracles. (laughs) Oh, Oh, yes, he has among us, and I thank God for it. Will you pray for me? Pray that I will not fail him. It's not time to faint, saints. But it's time to put on the whole armor of God God. that we may be able to stand against the wilds of the enemy. He's raging, but God has all power. And we have the victory on this afternoon. Love each one of you, every pastor. I can't help but say thank you, thank you, thank you for your support and your prayers. My own assistant, missionary Tiffany Nelson, God bless you, darling. And our first lady of the... uh, uh, of the district, praise the Lord. I almost said something else, but we love you, missionary Sheila Ann Simpkins. Praise the Lord. And my own first lady, Mother Hazel Waters. To each of the women of God, Mother uh, Sister Cynthia Thomas. Praise the Lord. Uh, my 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 Pamela Kelly. Kelly. Elaine Kelly, <laughs> we love each of you with the love of the Lord, all of the missionaries, all each one. Will you ever pray for me now and my strength in him? Pray that I fail him not. God bless you. Thank you, Mother. Pastor Jerry Waters, God bless you, Pastor. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 God bless y'all in a special way. It's good to be here today. Amen. On this line, on this Zoom conference today. Amen. I just want to say I love you all. And I just thank God for all that he's doing, all that he's done, all that he's going to do. Children, we are people of faith. We've been without one another for quite a long time now. But you know what? I still love you. Love has not changed. In fact, I love you even more than I did before because I miss you along the way. Each one of y'all, I'm glad to see my superintendent sitting back there in the background with his beautiful wife back there. And all y'all that are on this line on, on Zoom today, may God bless y'all in a special way, Cherry. I just want to encourage you all along the way. Let's keep on praying, Cherry. Let's keep on seeking God. God has great things in store for you and I. One thing I know that this district, man, we are praying now as never before, not just here in California, but we are praying worldwide. Because God got our attention, Sharon. And I thank God for what he's doing and what he's done. What is he going to do? I want to say I love each one of y'all. I just thank God for Cabaret Temple, how we are working together, y'all. Crying out to the Lord early in the morning. Earl McGee got that morning prayer rolling, Sharon. Oh, yes, he does. He got it rolling. We got the noonday prayer rolling. And God is moving in a special way. God is healing, y'all. God delivered. Just heal our, amen, our daughter just a few weeks ago. Amen. Sister Reagan, God raised her up, y'all. Can't nobody do you like Jesus. He's Lord of Lord. He's King of King. And I thank him today. Amen. God bless all the pastors back there. Amen. My superintendent, God bless you in a special way. I love you, my brother. Amen. Assistant superintendent, God bless you. Amen. And Pastor Kelly and my dear friend down there in uh, was it Southern California, Stevenson, California. May God bless him in a special way. All the saints of God. We are together, y'all. We're praying together. We're loving together. That God be glorified. And I thank you now for this opportunity to come here for you right now. I want to encourage you along the way. Keep on praying. Keep on loving God and loving one another. God bless you. Come on, sweet unity. Put your hands together and welcome our superintendent, Superintendent J.K. Simpkins. God bless you, oh, sir. Bless the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord. Lord. Help me bless the Lord. Right yes. you Help me give God some praise. Come on. Yes. Come on, clap your hands. The Bible says all you people and shout to the Lord with the voice Glory. of God. Glory to God. And so I honor the Lord today. We have, this is our third service, but we had a, the move of God in both of those two services this morning. Amen. God blessed us richly. And uh, we are excited. Uh, I said this is my third service like it's been a long. I'm excited about what happened. I, I don't feel no ways tired. I'm like, oh, the Jane Cleveland song. I feel good right now down in my <laughs> 
Amen. I, I'm just inspired and encouraged. Uh, I want to honor the Lord, of course, for uh, all of the, the pastors, glory to God, who have already been mentioned, but Assistant Superintendent Swindell and Pastor Kelly and Pastor, uh, Pastor Waters and Pastor Thomas, glory to God. We honor the Lord for each of you and your lovely brides. Amen. We praise God for you, uh, for each one of your wives who support you and keep you going. Of course, we honor the Lord for uh, District Missionary and her assistant. Missionary Barker and Missionary Nelson, we praise God for both of you as well. Uh, glory to God. Now, I see Sister Phyllis <laughs> Swindale up there. Glory to God. I see you, Sister Swindale. So I'm going to take just a little bit of liberty right here. If you all would, if y'all won't kick me out of my job, glory to God. But I'm going to take a little bit of liberty. And I'm going to ask Sister Swindale, you got a guest up there. You got a lovely lady there with you. I, I want to hear her greet us. Uh, this afternoon. Mother Swindell, I see you. You know I'm always messing with you. Come on, share something with us, Mother. Praise God. Ella, uh, Superintendent Simpson, I thank God for blessing me to get on. I was having trouble and my first lady came over and got me on. <laughs> <laughs> I thank God for her because uh, I was really uh, wanting to be on this afternoon. But the Lord touched me this morning. I, when I woke up, I was uh, in a lot of pain, but God has moved the pain, and I thank he, him for that. You know, for God is so good. He's, he's, he's good to us all the time. Yes. And I just want to thank him for his blessings right now. So thank you for these few words. Bless you, Mother. Glory to God. We praise. Come on, y'all clap your hands for this pioneer. Amen. Praise God for she and Mother Barker talked about it and those mothers who started, glory to God, this district, this district. Amen. We praise God for she and Mother Everhart and Mother Gill and glory to God. Uh, all of those who, Mother Wethington, all of those that were pioneers. I remember Bishop said many years ago, he was preaching, he said there's two kinds of people. Pioneers and settlers, amen, <laughs> and glory to God. We say you need them both, glory to God. <laughs> glory to God. You got to figure out which one of you, amen, when you need them both, amen. So I praise God for these pioneers, amen, who have paved the way for us coming here, amen. Of course, Mother Barker was here in the very beginning as well. Now listen, I want to share this with you all. I praise God and I did not acknowledge, but I want to honor the Lord for our, uh, our master of ceremonies today. Come on, give God some praise for the assistant pastor of the Calvary Temple Church, Pastor Tyron McGee. Glory to God. <laughs> I keep telling him there's going to be an E on the end of his name, but he keeps saying, <laughs> <laughs> you, my brother. Uh, thank you so much for this time and opportunity, sir. God bless you, Superintendent. Good to see you, First Lady. You're looking great. And I've seen that message that you preached over there in Tracy. Praise be to God. <laughs> Praise be to God. Don't be all shy. You got a word. <laughs> Praise be to God. Well, sweet unity, if you didn't know like I knew, we just heard some history from Mother Swindell, Missionary Barker. We seen our Deacon Kelly. I'll tell you, when you think about sweet unity, you got to think about the, the old patriots of this church that has brought us through, like Superintendent mentioned earlier. Glory be to God. Come on and give them patriots some hand, a hand praise. God bless you, Mother Swindell. We're glad God is moving. Hallelujah. We call your name every morning on our prayer line that God will heal and deliver. Praise be to God. So he says, we move through our service. We thank God for all of you on Facebook. God bless you. We know you're going to enjoy the word because we got a preacher that's going to come. But at this time, none other than my evangelism president from the North Cal Metropolitan Jurisdiction, none other than one of our own pastors in our district is going to come and take us further in our offering. Say amen for Pastor Henry Kelly as he come at this time. God bless you, Pastor Kelly. Praise be to God. I don't know if Pastor Kelly is on the line. If not, I'm going to defer back to my superintendent, Superintendent J.K. Simpkins. God bless you, Superintendent. There you go. 
Glory to God. I needed to hit that button. I praise God once again for each of you. This service is moving along well. Glory to God. And we praise God. I did not, but I surely want to mention my dear friend and, and mentor, amen, Pastor uh, Stephen Deacon, uh, Ray Kelly. Talk about, about the patriarchs, amen. This man, glory to God, encourages and lifted and has been faithful down through the years, amen. So praise God for him. Now listen, glory to God, I'm gonna ask everybody if you would today, get a very special gift in your hand, amen, a very special gift. As you all know, we don't meet as often as we used to, amen. So uh, what we decided to do was just kind of, uh, when we do meet, we want to be so, so that the, the district has the wherewithal to meet our obligations in the state, uh, glory to God, and whenever we're called on uh, to meet the needs of the people of our district, amen. And the Lord has blessed. Uh, those Kellys know how to be good stewards over finances, amen. Pastor Ray, Deacon Ray Kelly and Pastor Henry Kelly, they, they have been, and all of their staffs have worked well, amen, to ensure that we uh, you know, we needed to buy an ice cream for everybody. Everybody could get their own cone. Amen. The Lord is good to us. And so let us do this. Amen. Today, uh, the pastors are giving a special gift today. We've already agreed upon what that is. Uh, and it is, of course, uh, more than we're going to expect or ask of you to give. Uh, but if the Lord tell you something extra, then you do what the Lord said do. Amen. But I'm going to ask everybody to get your very special gift. And you can see on the screen, you can give with your uh, cash app, uh, Sweet Uni Dollar Sign Sweet Unity District, and Givelify Sweet Unity District. And of course, you can mail your checks or money orders in to the headquarters uh, in, uh, in Newark on Thornton. Glory to God. So we praise God for each of you. I won't uh, take a long time to do this, but I already know that you are going to be faithful to follow through with what God has entrusted into your care. Glory to God. Now listen, why don't we do this? If you'll just bow your heads, glory to God, we're going to have a word of prayer. I see my daughter up there, Ashley Jemison. My God, she blew that horn today. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm looking forward to hearing her uh, as well. So bow your heads. Father, we thank and bless you. We praise and magnify you right now. You have and are good to us, God. And we ask that you will take this seed, God, and use it for your glory and for your honor. Then return to the sower, 30, 60, 100 fold, even as you deem necessary to meet all of our needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And for this, we give you glory and honor and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you, Superintendent. Thank you. Thank you. Glory be to God. I'll tell you, saints, I love this district, Sweet Unity District. Hallelujah. Not only is this a great district, but we've been having some great leaders. Praise be to God. And we thank the Lord for our superintendent. Praise be to God and his first lady. But we're going to now give it over to our assistant superintendent of the Sweet Unity District, none other than Pastor Leon Swindell, who will come further and introduce not only the speaker of the hour, but also I think we got a soloist that's going to come as well. You're in the hands of our assistant superintendent, Leon Swindell. God bless you, sir. God bless you on this afternoon. It's so good to be with you. We give honor and glory to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And then we give respect to our leader, amen, our superintendent, Superintendent J.K. Simpkins of the Sweet Unity family. We praise God for you, sir. And we give respect to all of our pastors, Pastor Waters, Pastor Kelly, my Pastor Thomas, my God, we praise God for you. What a great time of fellowship we're having on this afternoon. We are just thankful to the Lord for us being here, I want to just piggyback off of our first lady of our district when she said it's so good that we all can be able to come together, even during this time of pandemic. We've all been through some very difficult times, but God has sustained us through it all. And we ought to be grateful and thankful to the Lord because we all could have been called into judgment, but God spared 
death from our lives. And we that should be give us something to be thankful for. Yes, we may have pains in our bodies. Yes, we don't move like we want to move. But thanks be to God, we can move. Thanks be to God, we can feel. Thanks be to God, we can come together and clap our hands and give God glory for all that he has done and continues to do in our lives. Amen. So we thank God for this time for this service, I'm come today, amen, to uh, introduce uh, the speaker of the hour, amen. I'm, I'm excited about this young man. I, I'm, I, I'm glad for him, what the Lord has done in his life and what God is getting ready to do even farther for him. I'm so proud of what God, how he has been so faithful to the Lord. And then God has used him mightily in ministry. And so we're grateful today uh, for Elder Fred Nelson that's going to come and share with us the word of the Lord. Amen. I just believe, hey, I'm getting older. And I believe that it's time for younger men to come up on the stage and to, to carry on. Yes, we're, we're, our hair is getting gray. We don't have the wind that we used to have. My God, don't even have the energy. Amen that we used to have, but thanks be to God, I'm still with you. Amen. And so we thank God for all the prayers that have been going forth to uh, Mother Swindell. Amen. We thank you for that. Amen. God has been good to her. He's blessed her in spite of. Amen. And so we're grateful for that. And so let me get back to what I'm here for to introduce the speaker of the hour. Amen. Ellen Nelson is going to come on today. Amen. He's going to break the bread of life to us. Amen. He is a wonderful young man. Amen. A faithful young man. Amen. And I love him. And he uh, he knows that. Amen. He knows I support him wholeheartedly. Amen. And so we're going to hear from him today. Before he come, I hear that we have a, a soloist is going to come. Amen. We're going to hear the soloist. And after that, the next voice that you will hear will be that of our speaker, Elder Fred Nelson. And let's pray for him that God bless him to present the word of God to us on today.
Come on now, saints. Come on, saints. Come on, saints. The Lord has been good, hasn't he? He's been good to you and me. He's opened doors for you and me. Hallelujah. He showered down from heaven. Hallelujah. Right on our doorstep. Hallelujah. Glory. <laughs> oh, God's been good to us. And he is worthy to be praised. I am so grateful and thankful to be here before you today. I hope that I say something that would stick to your bones and go with you through your day and through your week. God has prepared me for such a day as this, and it is a pleasure. And I just want to give honor to God, and I give respect to where respect is due. The house has been addressed, as our district missionary Lonnie Barker has taught a class one time, and I do remember that once the house is addressed, you don't have to go back over and readdress it. So I'm going to just get respect where respect is due. And I'd listen to you, district missionary, and I thank you for your service. And I thank the service of all of the pastors in this district, the superintendent, and all the wives that sit by their side. I thank you all for the example that you have set before me and all of the saints of this, this district. And I thank you. And I ask God right now, I'm going to pray before I go further. Father God, uh, I want you to bless this district and everyone that is connected to it. The family members, those that are sick and bound in sickness, I want you to relieve it right now. Touch it in the name of Jesus. Oh God, touch your word right now. Touch our ears and our hearts to receive your word. Oh God, that we can go forward in you. Oh God, and we give you the praise, the honor, and all the glory belongs to you in Jesus' name. Thank God and amen. And uh, once again, I want to thank you for coming and supporting this district. Without you, this district could not make it. And so you are the pillars, all of our pastors and superintendents, our head deacons, and, and all of the long-term members that held this district up all these years. I want to thank you. Thank you for our administrator, sir. Thank you for uh, leading us into this service. Hallelujah. Will you all pray for me as I go forward? And I want to come from Ephesians 6, 10 through 17. Uh, district missionary already touched on it this morning. But I'm going to go forward and touch just a little bit of this chapter. And it reads, Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet showed with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith he shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And may the Lord have a blessing to the reading and hearing of his holy word. My topic for today, saints, is stand. Stand. We're in a time and day now that we're looking for the pillars to hold 
up the bloodstained banner of the Lord. If you're not standing for something, then you'll fall for anything. Stand. Stand is being in an upright position. Stand. Stand means to endure, undergo successfully. Stand means to tolerate without flinching. Bear courageously. Stand means to endure the presence or personality of. Stand means to derive benefit of or enjoyment from. Stand. Stand means to remain stationary, upright, on two feet. And our Christian duty is to take and put on the whole armor of God and then stand our ground and withstand the attack of our enemies. This topic, stand, is not a physical stance. It's not actually you standing on the ground, but it is your faith. Where do you stand with your faith? What are you believing in? Saints of God, God has been good to us. He's been better than good. He's opened doors, he's healed us, he's provided for us, and he keeps us. He saved us from the penalties of sin. Jesus Christ stood in a gap for us. He bore sin for us. Stood on that cross for us. He died for us. He was buried for us. And he's calling for us to stand. Stand in the faith of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Stand in the gap. Stand strong without wavering, like the tree planted by the rivers of water. I don't know if you know anything about a tree, but what you see above ground is nothing to what holds it underground. You see, I seen a tree in my backyard. It's about, I don't know, 70 feet high. And my fence below it, about five feet high. Wind blew and blew my fence over, blew a limb off the tree, flew across my backyard. The tree did not fall. It was grounded and rooted in true foundation. The roots ran deep and strong, and that's where you grow your strength. It's in the root of your stance. Where are you standing? Look at your spiritual feet. Check your foundation. Are you standing on the word of God? Or are you standing on lies and manipulation? Are you standing on yourself? Are you standing on your wants and your, your desires? Or are you standing for what God wants you to stand for? Are you standing for Jesus Christ? Are you standing for the gospel of peace? Are you standing where you need to stand? Only roots dug deep into the word of God would we be able to withstand the fiery darts of the wicked. We are in a spiritual warfare. The Bible says we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the and the powers and against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. You see, Romans said, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Persuaded. Standing firm in the word of God. Nothing can shake my faith. I'm holding strong to the truth. And like our elder said, he said, what is it that you believe? 
What do you believe? Are you certain that Jesus Christ died on that cross? If you are, hold firm, because that's the truth. And don't let nobody come before you and persuade you otherwise. The Bible said even if an angel came down and spoke any other word, believe it not, for it is not the truth. Church, God is looking for the pillars, the stronghold pillars of faith. My fence blew over when the wind blew because its foundational post snapped. If you know about a fence, you have posts that are cemented into the ground. Then the rest of the panels are attached to the pillars. If your pillar falls, your fence falls. I have proof in a picture how my fence fell when the wind blew. But he's looking for tall trees that are grounded and rooted in the truth. Like that tree by the living of the river water. That tree produces its fruit in season every month. Saints of God, we're looking for people that know the truth and are not scared to tell the truth. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I feel my help coming right about there. You're going to come up again opposition. The Bible says to put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Make use of all the proper defensiveness and weapons for repelling the temptations of, and the stratagems of Satan. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. He comes to kill which has life. Destroy which that has been built. And steal that which has value. Catch that in the spirit. You have been built. You have value. Hallelujah. He comes to deter your faith. If he can get for you to move just one inch, he's done his job. But we're going to hold firm together in the faith. Hallelujah. We have no armor of our own, saints. And so the Bible says, put on the armor of God. That he may be able to hold out. He may be able to overcome, notwithstanding all the devil's assaults, both of force and fraud, all the deceits he puts upon us, all the snares that he lays for us. He's a formidable opponent. He's watching where we're weak. He attacks at the opportune time. He doesn't sleep either. As we sleep, he attacks our dreams. He attacks our rest. Saints, we have to be armored by all of the armor that God has provided for us. Verse 13 says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand the evil day, and having all to stand. After you have prayed, you've cried, you've read, you've talked to the counselor, you talked to the pastor, now stand right there. You've done all that you know to do. Stand. The Bible says, stand. Hold on to the faith. Be immovable. Stand upright. Not slothful, not weak but strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. That's where the power is. Stay connected to the source. Hallelujah. Stay connected to the source and you will be strong. You will be able to stand and withstand the evil darts of the wicked one. Isaiah said, and righteousness shall be the girdle of his loins. 
and faithfulness the girdle of his reins. Truth and sincerity is our girdle. It is of the inward parts. We girdle up and protect our inward parts because in our inward parts is our stability. If you're a bodybuilder, they want you to strengthen your core. With a strong core, you'll be able to withstand the exercise. You'll be able to develop strength if you strengthen your core. But with a weak core, then the rest of your limbs really can't withstand all the rigorous exercise that you need in order to get strong. So we girdle up our loins. We protect our loins. We put on the breastplate of righteousness. Protects our heart and our motives. Hallelujah. The helmet of salvation. We know the truth. And we want to protect the truth. We put on the helmet to shield off all the deceitful lies that are told. That are coming at us. I don't know how many people that I've talked to that look at you with a, there's a blank stare in the face when I talk of the gospel of Jesus Christ. They're just refusing because they have their helmet on too. They have their belief system too. And they're not persuaded. And so saints, we know the truth. We hold on to the truth of Jesus Christ. The gospel of peace. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to just encourage the saints today. Every opportunity that we have to preach the gospel. You don't need a microphone or a pulpit. You don't need an audience. All you need is one person. One unbeliever. You tell them of the goodness of Jesus Christ. I had a family member that was almost unto death. And when I spoke to him, I said, you know, Jesus loves you. The prayers of the righteous availeth much. I was praying for you and God seed through my prayer. He said, I thought I was going to die. I said, well, if you're going to die, I want you to know the truth. God loves you and he wants a relationship with you. Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins and for the sins of the world. He died and he was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Hallelujah. If you believe that in your heart and confess that with your mouth, you are saved and you're saved from the penalty of sin. I just planted the seed, but I knew it didn't take hold right then. But we're not there to be the planter, the waterer, and the, the increase. God said one planet, one water, and God gives the increase. I'm looking for the day that he gets watered and God increases his faith in Jesus Christ. Before he leaves this earth, we have a charge, saints. We have a charge to go out into the highways and the hedges and to compel them to come. I'm going to plant today. I want another to water tomorrow. And watch God give the increase. That's our charge. That's our charge. Who will stand with Jesus Christ? Who will stand with the gospel of peace? Who will stand in front of the opposition and say, I will not be moved. I shall not be moved. I know the truth. And the truth set me free. God does not want to see any one of us lost. All souls are mine, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. So let's take the helmet of salvation. Let's take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Out of all the armor of God, the sword was the only offensive tool. The word of God. That's the advancement of the gospel of Jesus Christ by us telling the word of God. It's time to sling the sword of the word of God. It's time to put up our armory. The whole 
armor of God that we will be able to withstand the wicked one on that evil day. In Matthew 3, or Matthew 4, 3 and 4, it says, And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. He slain the sword. The devil came to see him up, tried to trip him up, but he slain the sword. His defenses were up. He knew the word of God because he was the word of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's time to sling the word, saints, in season and out of season. Put on the whole armor of God. Don't leave the house without getting dressed. Hallelujah. It's time to stay dressed. Stay woke, as they say on the street. It's time to stay woke. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Exodus 14 and 13 says, And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you, show to you today. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today, shall ye shall see them no more forever. Stand. Stand on the truth. Stand in the faith. Stand with strength, strengthen the Lord, stand with courage, and after you've done all that you know to do, stand. Stand, therefore. Let's pray. Precious Father, we want to thank you for your word. We want to thank you for your strength. We want to thank you for your mighty power. Thank you for coming to see about us today. Now help us to stand. Gird up our loins, hallelujah. Sure up our foundation, hallelujah. Oh God, circumvent our minds, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we want to thank you. Thank you for this time. Bless each and every one of us. Bless Brother Solomon. I see you, Brother Solomon, in my spirit. I see you, my brother. Stand. Stand right there, brother. Stand right there. Hallelujah. I'm seeing you in my spirit. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. God. Let's put our hands together and give God praise on to this afternoon. My God, what a word from the Lord on today. Amen. Wasn't our hearts blessed through the word of God on today? Amen. Stand in the, these evil times that we're facing in our lives. It's time for us to stand. Amen. My God, the devil doesn't care. Amen. He will come boldly in your face. My God, but you have to have strength enough and courage enough to stand. Amen. Against him. My God. Coats all in the area. My God. But you got to have enough power. Amen. Holy Ghost power. Amen. To stand against the wiles of the enemy. So thank you. Amen. For that great word, Elder Nelson. Thank you so much. Amen. That, that was powerful. Amen. We thank God for you letting allowing God to use you in such a great way. Amen. Every time you come, amen, you bless us. Amen. The Lord is truly blessing you. Amen. To present the word of the Lord. You are growing with leaps and bounds. And so we praise God for you on today. Amen. We thank God for you. God bless you. Amen. We're going to hear, amen, the final words from our superintendent. Before he comes, amen, let me kind of just tell Mother Barker, amen, uh, forgive me for not mentioning her. It counted to my head, not to my heart, amen. We love her so very much. She is a wonderful uh, district missionary of the Sweet Unity District. And not only is she a, a wonderful woman of the Sweet Unity District, 
in NorCal Metropolitan. Amen. She is a wonderful, wonderful leader. And so we praise God for her and all of our first ladies, amen, uh, of our district. We, we love each and every one of you. Amen. We praise God for each and every one of you. Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. Let's continue to pray for one another. Let's continue to build up one another. Let's continue to lift up one another in these trying times that we are in at this time. And so at, at this time, I'm going to decrease. And I'm going to give over to our leader. Let's put our hands together and receive our superintendent, Superintendent J.K. Simpkins. Well, past, uh, Elder Nelson, you did a fantastic job. You, you, you rightly divided that word wonderfully, and we appreciate the plant that you did with that seed. Amen. Glory to God. You did a great job. Continue to stand, my brother. You, you definitely have done a wonderful job. And I, like your pastor has said, uh, you are just growing, growing, growing in God's word. Your delivery was clear and sure and solid. So thank you, my brother. Continue to grow. Uh, I'm going to uh, let the closeout be to our brother who's just come back in, in line. You know, he's working. He's been, he been churching today, amen, but it's good to see him. He and his lovely wife, Glory, got sitting beside each other on the couch, amen. So we're going to let him ask him to give us the closing word of prayer. But this is what I want you to do, uh, Pastor Kelly, if you will, on your way. Uh, really, the Lord kind of spoken to my spirit. I would ask that you, as you're closing out, pray for those that are facing uh, illnesses of whatever the kind. Pray for them. Would you do that, Pastor Kelly, on our, during the benediction? Thank you, Superintendent Simpkins. And we do honor all of uh, my family. That is my sweet unity family. Mother Barker, Pastor Swindell, Lady Swindell, uh, Dad Waters, Mother Waters. Uh, and we praise God for you. And uh, First Lady Kelly and I are just glad to be here mm -hmm. uh, and enjoyed you there, uh, Elder Nelson, and continue to let the Lord bless you. Listen, you all, we all have experience the going home of our dear sister um, state mother um, Joyce Rogers we, we we pray for that family and we pray that God will continue to strengthen them uh, and now there is the uh, international uh, president uh, Bishop Elijah Hankinson's wife has been stricken with cancer and uh, our presiding bishop and the in the entire What's her name, honey? Lady Raquel. Lady Ra Raquel. Uh, our presiding bishop is asking all of us to join together in prayer for that family. And I no doubt there's some others that are on this line that we need to pray for uh, in our own homes. And uh, as a matter of fact, Mother Swindell, we're praying for you uh, as we always do. And it's just a time, I believe, for the saints of God to uh, turn their backs against the wall, turn the plate upside down, and begin to call on the name of our God. Precious and holy and gracious God on tonight, we thank you, God, for the way that you've allowed us to experience your goodness and to experience your beauty in the way of Zoom. We praise you, God, that you have also kept us and kept us healed and you've kept us delivered and you've kept us and you've set us free. We pray, God, that you would bless us tonight and allow us to continue to be holy, sanctified, and be healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, for our leader, our, our, oh, God, our superintendent, J.K. Simpkins, his lovely, lovely wife. Hallelujah. Thank you for Mother Barker, Dad Barker. These are our leaders, God, of this sweet unity district. And God, continue to bless this family, this family. I wish I had somebody that would shout this family. this family, talking about the sweet unity district family where everybody is somebody, where all of us know how to fall down on our knees and call out unto the name of our God. We praise you now. Now bless, oh God, Bishop Hankerson's wife. Oh God, we pray now, God, that you would stretch forth that healing hand and that you would heal right now. God, we yet believe in divine healing. We yet believe, God, that you're able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Now, Lord, we thank you for this space. We give you glory. We give you honor. In Jesus' matchless name, can we all say amen, amen. and amen.